this video I'm going to show you how to create a lightbox gallery here in Adobe Muse. So what we're going to do is going to go to the widgets library over here on the uh, right hand side. So I'm just going to click on that to access that. Come down to my slideshow, slideshows uh, folder and scroll down through that and you'll see that you have lightbox. I'm just going to drag that out onto the page. Now it comes with pre-populated uh, images so it gives us three at the moment and then three large ones that are available here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that by adding my own images. So I'm just going to click this little folder icon and I'm just going to put in uh, the first six images that I've got listed here. So what it does is it will go in and add those in and then you'll see those images appear here. Now what I'm going to do as I'm sort of playing with this I'm going to switch off certain features because I don't need to see them. So the only part of the light box that you see on the page is the actual thumbnails when the person clicks on the page on a thumbnail, so when your user clicks a thumbnail, this bigger image will then appear and the screen will darken to this shade of colour that's been set here. So this doesn't actually show when you preview in a browser. So if I just quickly show you that, Command, Shift and E, to preview in our browser. Try that again, Command, Shift and E. What you'll see is you just get the thumbnails. Now when you click a thumbnail, up comes your light box effect. So you get a much larger version of the image and you get this darkening of the screen. Okay, so when I'm editing this, I don't necessarily need to see this area. So I'm going to go into my options here, slideshow options, and I'm going to switch off the light box parts whilst editing. So I'm going to switch off that bit that we don't see. So we see the page as if it was on the browser. In other words, what the user is going to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. And I'm just going to place it over here onto the side close down my widget library and I'm just going to select it and then drag it out. So I'm just going to make this a lot bigger, this box that we've got here. So I might drag it down to about there. Then I'm going to go and click in and select one of my thumbnails and when I drag out one of my thumbnails, all of the thumbnails become bigger. So I'm going to go for like a, where we have that kind of look, where we have our six thumbnails but we have three on top, three on the bottom, so I'm just going to resize that image. And when I let go, all of my thumbnails are resized to that particular size. So I've made them much, much bigger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the thumbnails and come over here to the States uh, panel window. And on the normal state, I'm going to set the opacity of that image to be down to 50%. So I'm just going to type that in. And then on the rollover, I want it to go back up to 100%. So on the normal state we have this opacity of 50%, roll over, goes up to 100%. So let's have a little look at how that appears. So Command Shift or Control Shift E to preview in a browser. And now you'll see as you put your mouse round over these thumbnails, you're going to get this uh, sort of effect that we've set here with the opacity. And when you click, up comes your light box in the middle. Okay, I'm going to click back on the light box, go back to my little play button here and show the light box parts again. So here is our light box, so it's tucked up here in the top. And what I really need to do is I need to hold down the shift key to select all the different elements of that light box. So I'm going to make sure that I hold down the shift key and click on all the different elements. And make sure that I come back and make sure that they are all selected. And then I can grab that and just move it down so that I can see it a bit clearer rather than it being sat on top of the thumbnails. Now if I click on the box on the outside here, you'll see that the fill colour is currently set to this black colour, and you'll see that the opacity is set to 90%. So I could, for example, reduce that right down to 50% or 45% in this case, do Command Shift E, and then when I do my light box, it comes out, but it's not so darkened down here in the background. I'm just going to do a Command and Q. Of course, you can also change the colour. So I might go for an orange colour and then I might go back to the fill here and put the opacity back up to around about 80% and then Command Shift and E and we can change what the colour is going to be when the images appear sort of full size across the background. Uh, you can edit all of your content here as well so by clicking on the thumbnail so if I just come and select the thumbnail, you'll see the larger image for that thumbnail, and then you can come in here and also change uh, what the um, caption is going to say. Just get your text tool, double click it, and you can edit the caption. And that's a simple Lightbox Gallery and how you can set it up and format the Lightbox Gallery.